Onkujo. The president, please be seated. The court is now in session and uh, we would like to proceed by hearing the testimony of TCW752. Mr. Duc Parry, please report to the chamber whether this witness is uh, in a relationship with an accused or civil party le or not, or whether the witness had taken an oath already. Mr. Parry, thank you, Mr. President. Uh, the witness uh, confirmed that the witness uh, is not in a relationship with an accused or a civil party in the proceedings. The witness already took the oath this morning. The witness uh, would be, will be assisted uh, by jury counsel Moon Sovan. The president, uh, thank you, Mr. Duc Parry. Court officer is now directed to bring the witness. The president. Good afternoon, Mr. Witness. Le président. Bonjour, Monsieur le témoin. What's your name, please? Vous Response. Réponse. Mr. President, I am Ong Chat. Ong Chat. Question. Mr. Ong Chat, Monsieur how old Chat. are you? Quel âge avez-vous? The president. Uh, Mr. Ong Chat, uh, please. Monsieur Ong Observe some pause uh, before you proceed to respond to my questions and questions put by the parties to the proceeding. Only when the red mic is activated, rather the red light is activated on the mic, uh, that your message will be conveyed uh, through interpreting into English and French. By that, you are asked uh, to observe some pause, please. Question again, how old are you? Response, I am 62 years old. Question, where do you live? Response, I live in Poussat province. Question, Mr. Ong Chat, what do you do for a living? Response, Réponse. I am a farmer. Je suis agriculteur. Question. Question, can you tell the chamber your parents' names comment, comment and les, your vous, wife's name and how many children you have? Response, Réponse. I have five children. Cinq enfants. The president... Uh, what are your parents' names? Question. Et comment s'appellent vos parents? Response. My Réponse. father is Mon père. Mao Chit. The president. What about your mother's Mao name? Chit. Response. Question. Et votre mère? She is Réponse. Tan Bon. Elle s'appelle Tan Bon. Question. What is your wife's Question. name? Comment s'appelle votre épouse? Response. Réponse. She is Mut Sain. Elle s'appelle Mut Sain. The president. Thank you, Mr. Ong Chan. 
According to the report by the greffier of the trial chamber, you are not in a relationship with an accused or a civil party in these proceedings. Yes, exactly. And according to the same report, you already took a deal. Is that true? Response. Réponse. Yes, it is. Oui, c'est exact. The president. Uh, now, the chamber would like uh, to notify you of your right under Rule 28, La right against self-incrimination of witnesses. As a CTC. witness, you may object to making any statement qui, uh, that might de tend to incriminate you. In other words, you have the right not to incriminate yourself. Si cette and as the witness, you shall respond to all questions témoin, put to you by the judges of the bench or parties, or parties to the proceeding, unless in your responses uh, you believe that uh, the content can be self-incriminating, si and as the witness, you shall tell the truth, the whole truth, nothing Dans but the témoin, truth, and vérité, this must be based vérité, on your experiences, vérité, what you saw, des que vous avez what you learned. Mr. Ong Chat, Dont vous avez su. have you ever given any interviews uh, to the Co-investigating judges or investigators of the office of co-investigating judges during the last few years. If so, where were the interviews conducted? Response. I gave interviews uh, to the, these people on two occasions. Question, where were the interviews uh, conducted and and when were they carried out? Response, Réponse. I do not remember the exact date, Je but first, uh, the interview was conducted Donc, in my hometown, and uh, secondly, it natale. was uh, conducted in Bosat province. A eu lieu dans la province de Pourcent. Question. Before you appear before the Question. chamber, have you read Et avant or been read out dans le est or que reviewed vous lu, vous -on lu the statements you gave before the co-investigating judges to refresh your memory or not? Que vous avez fait au co-juge d'instruction afin de vous rafraîchir la mémoire. No, réponse. I haven't, uh, Mr. President, Monsieur because President, I have not been told uh, on which fait. points uh, questions uh, would uh, be made uh, sur quoi on to me poser or put to me. The President, uh, that's not Le my question to pas you. La que je vous pose. What I am asking is that uh, whether you have Je vous read si vous the avez documents regarding the statements uh, you gave to the investigators a few years ago before you appear before this chamber, or have you ever been read out these documents to you again to refresh ou, your memory? Donc les avez voulu, ou vous yes, I have réponse. read uh, the oui. documents again, documents. Mr. President, President. briefly. The president, according to the best uh, recollection, and having read the documents again, were the contents of uh, the documents consistent si with the statements you once uh, on two occasions you gave before the co-investigators? Response. I Réponse. remember the points uh, I stated before the co-investigators are uh, still um, relevant and consistent de ce dont parlé avec les enquêteurs them. et les procès verbaux sont fidèles à ce que j'ai dit. 
the president just you next uh, the chamber would like uh, to hand the over to the co-prosecutors to put questions to the witness before the other parties you may proceed qui commencera l'interrogatoire du témoin co-prosecutor thank you mr president and your honors and Merci, very good Monsieur afternoon to the bench Monsieur and good Juge. afternoon Bonjour. to mr witness i am Song Chawan, national co-prosecutor, co and my colleague on my right hand side is Mr. Keith Rayner, and uh, we will be putting some questions uh, to you today. I would be putting some questions first. The first question is, when did you start joining the revolution? Quand avez-vous rejoint la, was la révolution pour la première fois et à quel endroit Response. I do not remember the exact year I joined the revolution. Je ne me souviens pas de l'année. In 1972 or 73 because uh, the exact date could not be well remembered as I had to move exacte, places and I was uh, recruited during this period of time. Mais à cette Question. Question. Do you remember the location when you joined uh, the revolution? Uh, Response. Yes, I do. It was uh, in the same province, Posat. Réponse. Je m'en souviens, c'était à Posat. Question. Question. What did you do when you joined uh, the revolution? Were you joining the revolution as a soldier? If so, do you, do you remember who was uh, who, who your commander was? Était-ce comme soldat et le cas échéant, vous souvenez-vous du nom de votre commandant? The Réponse. village and commune authority recruited me uh, in the army le de to serve the army. Commune, ou les Question. autorités du village ou de la commune m'ont do you recall in which division or Question. section of the military you were part? De Response. Du, du numéro de la division ou de l'unité à laquelle vous appartenez. It was a low-level military unit. C'était une unité in sector 7 and this is the this, it was a commune military section in sector 7 dans le secteur militaire c'est-à-dire c'était la section militaire de commune du secteur 7 the president uh, can le président the civil parties uh, please uh, maintain court order and Les please be quiet the president co-prosecutor you may Je continue but before that uh, the chamber wishes to le inform président. mr Monsieur witness uh, mr chat we understand uh, that you may dire, Monsieur, um, have chat, to visit uh, the bathroom frequently and indeed uh, if you feel the need to go to the bathroom just uh, si tell the chamber then you will be allowed to do that co-prosecutor mm. thank you mr president in 2009 you interview to the co-investigators par les enquêteurs I'm referring to document D125 stroke 176 in that document uh, the first uh, question the co-investigators asked you is prior to 1975 where did you live and what did you do and you Avant say, 1975, où viviez-vous et que faisiez-vous 
1971, I worked as a soldier. Oh, I was in the Khmer Rouge army since 1971 until after the liberation on 17 of April 1975, at which time I was discharged. The Khmer Rouge army liberated Posad province on 19 April 1975. The division commander then was Tak Klang. I was a platoon chief in charge of 30 troops in Tak Klang division. My division attacked and entered Posad through Tul Po Chiri. After we had arrived in Posad province, Shaw Town, my unit was assigned to guard the Posad provincial headquarters, and my unit was in charge of removing goods from the market. Do you remember who ordered you to remove goods from the market? Question. Response. I was ordered. By the commander of Le my company, de ma compagnie, on a donné le we were asked to just ask the people to leave the market. On nous a dit qu'il fallait donner l'ordre aux gens de quitter Question. le marché. Do you remember Question. who he was? And what he said vous en -vous? when ordering you vous regarding this de ce il a dit quand il a donné response. Réponse. The persons by the names of Thuy and Saram ordered Thuy this. After that, Sarum they would drawn donné cet ordre. the troops question Après que you que mentioned about Thuy and Sarum soldats. what did they question. do? Vous avez parlé de et de Sarum. response vous dire ce they were the commanders Réponse. of the company Ils étaient les commandants de la compagnie. question were they both question. the Co-commanders, or co were they? One was commander and another deputy commander. Response: Réponse. These two people were equally powerful. Ils étaient les puissants at les that company. Au sein de cette I did not. I don't know whether. Uh, any of them uh, was the uh, actual commander, although they had si the same power. Question. Ou, mais ils le les mêmes Do you know where Question. the company led by Mr. Sarum would be stationed? La compagnie de Sarum a été postée. Response. I don't Réponse. know, but Uh, he, Je ne pas. Uh, they would uh, come to the meeting and uh, introduced Mais themselves. That was the one occasion présentés. I heard and knew about them before they left for Mong Rsai district. Que su qu Question. Qu au district Do you de still Mong remember Rusay? where you received order Question. from Thuy and Saram? Lorsque vous avez reçu les ordres de Thuy et de Salom. Réponse. I received uh, the order at the provincial hall when the meeting was conducted. Au bureau provincial dans le cadre d'une réunion. Question. Was the order rendered Question. in a, a meeting session attended by several members or were you there alone? L'ordre a-t-il été donné dans le cadre d'une réunion à laquelle participaient plusieurs personnes Response. ou étiez-vous seul? I do not remember Réponse. the number of the participants Je because pas du de all people from my platoon à la réunion, attended uh, car the tous meeting. Les membres de mon peloton ont participé. And after the order was rendered troops uh, 
our participants uh, return to Mong and tout le monde a participé au retour. I made a request uh, to my um, senior soldier to allow me to return home and I returned Et home. Question. Si je chez moi. You mentioned about a meeting where order was Question. rendered to renew the market. Les Do you des still marchés? remember the motive behind this Ou order and when was the market removed? Et quand le marché a -il été fermé? Response. Réponse. The meeting was uh, conducted in close session and in the meeting, we were asked uh, to move villagers from their réunion, houses, and we were told uh, to tell the people to uh, only bring away with them something they could carry because they would not be leaving their houses for a long period of time. Question. After the order was rendered to remove the house, how soon was the order Et implemented? Lord... De Response. Temps écoulé entre le the order was implemented immediately in the following morning réponse. at 7 a.m. Question. Matin. What, what was the name Question. of their market? Et comment le marché? Response. We had to focus our attention on our prime target of Nous duty, so the market was small, and uh, we were in charge of uh, patrolling and telling people on a stretch of about a hundred meters. So any houses that fell within this block uh, would be under our duty to tell them to leave their homes. Dans un rayon de Question, do you remember the name of that market? Marché, if you do, nous please tell the chamber. Aller voir les habitants des maisons pour leur dire de Response, partir. it's Question, uh, le marché? called vous vous Posat Réponse. Market. C'était le marché Posat. Response, uh, question. Question. What did you do to ensure that your message could be conveyed to the people to move or to leave their houses? Comment when vous convaincu les gens de partir de leur maison quand vous avez fermé le marché? Response. Réponse. And one of the groups, another group indeed, uh, was uh, using a loud uh, speaker and I uh, would be walking, uh, following uh, them, moi, but I was not suivre. armed. I was not armed. Mais je ne portais pas d'armes. Question. Question. Do you know the purpose uh, behind the order to remove goods from the market? On a fait retirer les marchandises du marché. Response. Réponse. The commodities at the market uh, were not removed. People les were marchandises asked du marché n'ont pas été retirées. On a demandé uh, aux gens de I partir. I don't know what happened uh, Je ne sais after pas ce qui that, produit because uh, the next day after the order was carried out, ah, I had to go back to my base. Après que, enfin, le lendemain, après que l'ordre ait été exécution, j'ai dû retourner dans ma base. Under the same uh, question. record uh, you, that I just read out to you, you also state uh, that the Khmeru uh, soldiers uh, liberated Posat province on the 19th of April. 1975. Can you tell the chamber what did you do and where were you during this period of time? Response. On the 19th of April, I 
entered uh, the provincial town Je suis au at the provincial, provincial hall. Question. Did you also receive order to evacuate the Posad provincial town dwellers? Avez-vous aussi reçu l'ordre d'évacuer la population de la ville de Pourçade Response. No, I didn't. Réponse. I non. was on duty to guard at J'étais de service the provincial pour hall monter la garde. and I am not aware of uh, the evacuation of the Au people in gate in the et evacuation. Je ne suis pas au courant. Question. Can you tell the chamber how you knew that people were evacuated Question, on the 19th of April 1975? Informés de l'évacuation du 19 avril 1975. On the 19th of uh, April 1975, Réponse. people were not yet evacuated. It was not until pas été the morning of 20th of April 1975 when people were evacuated. People were evacuated uh, by surprise Les gens uh, because ont no information was surprise. informed to them in advance. Ils reçu and people who were tasked uh, with uh, evacuating uh, the people would then be on duty respectively according to each and every unit uh, concerned. De service Question. De leur unité. Is it fair to say that uh, uh, people would be told uh, the evening before the evacuation took place? Or, que les gens um, I am ont été uh, de I, I can be uh, mistaken. Ou bien me suis-je trompé? Response. In the evening, we received order Durant concern, la soirée, uh, in the meeting reçu, from the commander. Reçu, in the morning, we started to disseminate information in the market. We did not tell the people marché. the evening before the evacuation took place. Les gens. And in the evening, you said uh, you had received an order. Uh, what was the order all about? Response. The order was uh, about uh, the instruction uh, from the upper authority. We had to do as uh, what they instructed, and we uh, must not challenge uh, the order. We had to comply with the order. So I would like you to expand on this um, order. Of course, you have received an order, and I believe that uh, you say others also receive an order as well, that they would uh, be uh, summoned to the meeting the next day. Was that correct? Response. All of us receive orders from uh, this unit, and those who uh, had to attend the meeting uh, was aware of that and they had to uh, prepare themselves uh, to attend the meeting and uh, at that time uh, they also learned uh, that they were not forced to attend this meeting but they had to attend it anyway. Question, uh, who issued this order? Response, comrade Thuy and Sarim were the ones uh, who made the comment in relation to these orders. Question. On fait des in the par order, à did it uh, mention uh, what Cet would be the consequence if people did not turn up in the meeting? Les conséquences qui s'en suivrait au cas où des gens ne participeraient pas In à la réunion. Order, it convenes people for the meeting. And in the morning, uh, if people uh, did not les gens ont été convoqués or fail to attend, uh, then le matin venu, uh, they would si take a different measure. And that réunion, would be dealt with when they came back uh, from the meeting. Question. 
you also said uh, that uh, there was a plan or a measure for those who failed to turn up for the meeting. Uh, who was responsible for taking the measure? Ne viendrait pas la réunion. Qui était responsable de prendre ces mesures? Response. That I was not told as on to who was supposed to take on the measure. Uh, that was a uh, secretive uh, affair of the uh, authority at that time. I was only aware of my unit. Moi, I did not know uh, whose authority or which authorities would uh, take on uh, the measure if uh, anything did not follow the plan. Question. Do you recall uh, the uh, period required to evacuate people out of uh, Posad province? Uh, how long did it take uh, to evacuate all the people out of the provincial town? Response. To my recollection and knowledge, it did not take long. It lasted for about one or two days or so. All people were emptied of the town. Uh, and then I did not pay any attention uh, to it afterward. I, uh, I only noticed that uh, the town was empty after a few days. And as for my unit, uh, I was supposed to guard the uh, provincial um, uh, hall, then I was not allowed to go anywhere else, so I only knew my the place or the area where I guarded. Did you see any other soldiers? Question. Avez-vous vu d'autres soldats? Or London soldiers, rather. The London. A response. Well, at that time, I did not Réponse. see Lonol soldier. Je n'ai pas vu de soldats de Lonol à l'époque. Per se, because I I did not see them in uh, Lonol soldier uniform. Cas, I stayed there for about two or three days. I saw people uh, from the Lonol regime, and they of course uh, uh, transported a uh, Lonol official on trucks, and they were taken to the provincial hall. Uh, they attended uh, a meeting in the provincial hall. And upon the completion of the meeting, they the left and they were taken back on the truck. And I did not know what the meeting was all about because I was not told uh, of its substance. Question. So to your knowledge, uh, why did they evacuate people out of Bosat and uh, where were they supposed uh, to be evacuated to? Response. The average uh, civilians uh, at that time Réponse. had to leave uh, the provincial town Les by themselves. Uh, nobody designated any particular direction Personne for them to do. They, uh, some of them uh, got on the trucks Certains and they left the city, and some went out of the city on foot. And they just left the provincial towns on uh, different directions. Some left northward of Bosat province to Tulpo uh, That's what I witnessed at the time. Question. Question. Do you know the reason behind the evacuation of people out of Pursat, provincial de town? La ville de Response. That I do not know. I do not know non. the politics behind the evacuation. I was with the army, so I uh, never attended the policy meeting concerning the evacuation of people or what people were supposed to do. I, uh, that I was not aware of because I was in a lower uh, level rank. Uh, I was carrying gun. Uh, I uh, was supposed to carry out my duty as I was assigned to. So I uh, was not informed of that. And at that time, uh, I was rather happy because I knew that the country were at peace already because we have already won the war. Question. In the course of evacuation, what was the overall 
conditions of people Quelles being evacuated out of the town? Were they euh, in the state of fear or les gens uh, they were happy being evacuated? Étaient-ils heureux d'être ainsi évacués? Response. Réponse. At the time, people ask me about uh, their belongings which they left behind in the uh, city. Well, would they be returned to them uh, after they returned si back? And I told them that, well, I was a lower ranking official. I did not know whether or not uh, you, uh, those belongings would be returned uh, to them or they would allow to take uh, those belongings si later on. And I, oh, I did not notice uh, at all at that time whether or not people would leave the city for a long time and I noticed that si uh, people were leaving the city without any uh, noticeable grim impression. Question. When people were leaving the provincial town, were they allowed Question. to bring Quand les gens their belongings partis, along or there was any order Uh, for them not to bring uh, many stuff along with them. De ne pas Response. According to the order, people were not allowed to bring any heavy donné, stuff with them. For example, uh, anything that is uh, very heavy, they cannot... Uh, bring along with them uh, but they of course can bring clothes and uh, some uh, cash money or any jewelry with de them. Liquide et des bijoux. Question. In the course of uh, evacuation, was there any clear Pendant division between um, ordinary civilians and former Lonel soldiers? Were there any segregation or division of, of uh, evacuees at the time? Les évacués ont-ils été divisés en catégories? Response. According to the announcement made through Réponse. loudspeaker, there was no indication whatsoever concerning the division of uh, evacuees. Uh, they only told the evacuees that uh, they had to uh, go Il to different directions, uh, particularly back to their hometown. Uh, so husbands and wives would uh, go along uh, with each other to any direction uh, out of the city. Quitter la ville Question. dans n'importe quelle direction, to your mari knowledge, et femme ensemble. Do you know uh, where the people were heading Question. for at that time? And uh, où les gens allaient? Were they soldiers or civilians? Did you ask them uh, when they were leaving the city? Quand vous avez vu les gens quitter la ville, leur avez-vous demandé si c'était des Response. To my knowledge, Civil when they were des militaires? walking along the main road, Question. I saw a crowd of people vu une foule and I could not distinguish who were civilians, who were civils, soldiers, because at that time uh, they did not wear army uniforms, uh, all of them wore civilian uniforms, and civil. people were crowded along the street. I could hardly know rues. who was who, Il and I do not actually qui know qui. who were the soldiers Je and who were civilians at the time. Et qui étaient des civils. Question. Mr. Witness, in your statement uh, you provided to uh, OCIG, Uh, D125 slash uh, 76 on question number two. I read out earlier the investigator asked you at that time. Following the, the, li uh, the liberation of Posat uh, on the 19th of April 1975, uh, what did you do and where? And I would like to quote this statement. Je vais citer votre Before réponse. I was sent uh, to Mo uh, after the deliberation uh, for 10 days, they rounded up 
uh, Lonnol soldier, and they were placed in uh, Posad Provincial Hall. My unit uh, was not tasked uh, to round up those uh, Lonnol soldier, soldiers and officials. Uh, I, my unit was tasked uh, to guard the provincial headquarters. So my question for you uh, to expand on this issue. You said uh, Lonnol soldiers were rounded up uh, and they were placed in provincial hall. So my question to you, uh, where did they uh, round up those people? Response. That I do not know exactly where uh, they were uh, taken from uh, when I was uh, guarding the compound. I only noticed that uh, former Lonnol soldiers were uh, taken into the provincial hall uh, in trucks. And at that time, the investigator asked me whether or not they were soldiers. And I said, I guess they uh, could be uh, soldiers because uh, I saw uh, uh, some of them and some of my relatives knew uh, them Puisque as well, that uh, most of them were soldiers and some were civilians. And they went to the provincial hall in order to attend the meeting, and that meeting lasted for three or four hours or so. And I did not uh, pay attention on the uh, content of the meeting at that time. But following the meeting, uh, there was a direction uh, from the upper authority that uh, they would take those people uh, for uh, re-education or for a study session somewhere along uh, Le Sap uh, River. Le Sap. It was uh, somewhere uh, along Le Sap. And I did not even bother to ask them what the subject matter or study Je they would be attending or so, uh, but I asked other people uh, uh, near or close to me contre, that uh, uh, what uh, they would be uh, studied. And they say, uh, well, uh, they, if they went to study, they would stand a chance of being promoted to a higher rank. Que qui étudier, Question. So when they told a uh, former Lonnol soldier uh, to uh, de go to attend the uh, training or to the uh, study session or so, and how did they go there? De quelle manière ces gens y sont -ils allés? Response. Réponse. At that time, those soldiers were gathered in the provincial hall, and then after that, uh, they were taken out uh, Ensuite, by trucks. Some of them came by uh, smaller trucks and some were uh, on bigger trucks. And some even came uh, de gros there by their Certains own means, uh, by own moyen. vehicles. And then after the meeting, they left Après the provincial réunion, hall either on the trucks or their own cars. So and there were also camion, uh, other cars voiture. accompanying those um, fleet of of, of trucks as well, transporting them out of the provincial hall. Et certains véhicules ont été utilisés pour les transporter Question. vers l'extérieur. You said following the meeting, uh, those soldiers uh, got on the trucks and then they left réunion, the provincial hall. Uh, do you know where they were heading for? And to your recollection, I don't know if you can recall it, but uh, how many people were all together at the time. De gens y avait -il au total? Response. Response. According to what I witnessed, I only saw that there were many trucks carrying loads of people. Il y avait beaucoup de camions qui transportaient beaucoup de monde. I did not have a watch with me. I did not know Je pas uh, where they were heading for. I only knew that uh, they only went to attend uh, the study uh, session. I étudier. actually did not uh, bother to question further as to what they would be studying. Quant au thème 
question. I, I would be um, dealing with this matter further, but I would like to go back a little bit. Je Just now you say that some of them Mais left the provincial hall on their own vehicle and some left on the truck uh, that they came with to the meeting. So my question to you, uh, how many trucks were there, there to your recollection and were there de any Khmer Rouge uh, trucks over there uh, to take them out? Response. I actually uh, did not know whether or not those trucks belonged to the Khmer Rouge. I could not distinguish between the Khmer Rouge uh, truck or the Lonol soldier truck. I only noticed that there were uh, black truck and green truck and different kinds of trucks, and including some sedan cars as well. And as for the Khmer Rouge cars, probably it was quite similar to those of the uh, London soldiers' cars as well, but I cannot really distinguish. Question. Question. How many London soldiers, uh, to your estimation, um, got on board the truck and Combien left the provincial hall for the study Lonnol session, as you described it? Pour quitter le bureau provincial et Response. partir. I do not recall it exactly because I was réponse. not the one in Je charge of uh, keeping the record of uh, the people, but I only knew that. But it took around one hour or two hours or so for people to really get on the truck and then left. And all of them did not actually wear military uniform. Uh, they uh, only have the plain civilian clothes uh, on them, and then they left. And I cannot really distinguish whether or not there were soldiers and civilians and how many of them all together. Ils étaient en civil, uh, je ne sais Mr. Witness, on the same document and statement you provided to the investigator of the OCIJ, uh, down Dans below your uh, statement, question number three, uh, the question, question uh, asked when you were assigned to guard the provincial hall, how many Khmer Rouge uh, soldiers did you see? And you answered, uh, quote, according to my estimation, uh, there were approximately 200 uh, Khmer Rouge uh, Lonnol soldiers because it was crowded in the provincial hall at that time. End quote. So you told the investigator that based on your estimation, there were approximately 200 uh, Lonnol soldiers. How did you come up with this estimation? Comment êtes-vous parvenu à ce chiffre de 200? Response. Réponse. Uh, well, at that time, the investigator asked me, and I tried to provide an Les estimated number of um, uh, uh, people over there. And then, um, according to the size of the provincial hall, I saw Comme that full when, when it is fully packed, it was about 200 pleine, or so people. Question. Is my understanding correct uh, that uh, these 200 people Donc, you estimated, uh, you base your uh, statement on the size de of the hall that can accommodate up to around 200 people or so? Vous vous de la salle de réunion qui, d'après vous, pouvait accueillir 200 personnes. Response. Yes, uh, this Réponse. is based on. Uh, oui. This is the basis for my estimation. The size of the hall. C'est que se fonde mon estimation, à savoir la taille. De la salle. Question. How about Question. Um, the elements of people attending the meeting according to your own observation when you were guarding the compound? Uh, did you know anyone, anyone at all by name or by whatever um, identity of the people uh, attending the nom, meeting uh, as they left afterward? Are you referring to those who were 
attended the meeting at that time or the soldiers from the Lomnol regime? Ou bien des du Prosecutor, de I, I, will, I will try to rephrase my question. Je vais um, you say that uh, there were former Lomnol soldiers attending the meeting on the day. So uh, following the meeting, they left uh, Ensuite, the hall. Do you know or recognize uh, anyone who attended the meeting? Did you know or recognize anyone either by names or any other identity? Response, no, I did not know. I Réponse. was a non. soldier myself, but uh, I was a soldier stationed outside out of the city before I was uh, asked uh, to come to guard uh, the provincial hall. I was stationed in the countryside, so I did not know those officials. Avant cela, j'étais en province, et donc je ne connaissais pas ces personnes. Thank you, Mr. Witness. Question. In your statement uh, with the Office of uh, Co-Investigating Judges on the same document, Dans le même down below in question number bas, five, à la question uh, they ask you whether or not you knew any uh, Lonnol soldier. And as, uh, in Lonnol your answer, you say, do you know uh, Mr. Paul, uh, uh, who Paul. was uh, the a regiment commander in Tulpo uh, he came to attend Tulpo the meeting, uh, and, and you also uh, were on the track with him. So my follow-up question on this issue, uh, when did you come to know Paul? Voici ma question. Quand avez -vous fait la connaissance the de president, ce witness, please hold on. Le National Council for Mr. Kyu Sampong, you may proceed. Council Kongsimon, thank Maître you, Mr. Kong President. Kong I simply Merci wish to President. make a small correction in the record uh, of the statement of Dans le verbal uh, the witness. Uh, uh, the man the prosecutor was mentioning was not Paul, but uh, his name was pas Paul, Pil. Mais bien Pil. Prosecutor, thank you. Merci. So my question for you, is it, uh, he, was he Pil or it is Paul? Can Pil you please uh, clarify this and then uh, when, when did you come Paul. to know him? Et à quel moment avez -vous connu cette personne? Well, his name was Paul. Réponse. Il s'appelait Pel. I got to know him when he was... Uh, leading a regiment uh, in his uh, barrack. I got to know him uh, when uh, we were in the in in the, my village uh, when I was a monk. Village, At that time he went moi, there, he was the uh, place, regiment commander, so he was an important person, so he went to the pagoda, and I uh, got to know him, that he was the, um, a commander, the Je biggest person in the troop uh, at that time when he went there. Le principal responsable de ses forces au moment où il s'est rendu sur place. Question. Question, how often uh, did you meet uh, Paul, uh, at least before uh, the meeting held in the Pell, provincial hall of Pursat province? la réunion qui a eu lieu au bureau provincial de Pursat. Response, no, I did not Réponse. meet him. Before Je that, he was a soldier, cela, and soldat. he had his own uh, duty. Uh, he was uh, designated to a certain direction. I did not actually uh, meet him, but he got on the track uh, with, uh, with other soldiers uh, to attend the meeting. That's what I, I knew. Voilà ce que je Question regarding the Lonnol soldiers. Question. A propos des soldats de Lonnol. Soldiers who left the meeting convened at the provincial town hall. You say that the soldiers were taking both uh, trucks and ils ont cars to des the camions que des voitures. study session. Do you know what? Pour aller had become of these soldiers after the meeting. 
ce qu'il est advenu de ces soldats Response. après la réunion. They went to the meeting and disappeared. Ils sont Only allés à la réunion et après ils ont disparu. Car would return to the province. Seuls des camions et des voitures no vides sont retournés soldiers, uh, dans la province. Other than the Khmer Rouge soldiers were seen on the trucks. Dans I les camions, il n'y avait que des soldats Khmer Rouge. J'ignore ce qui leur est arrivé. The president, uh, Le président. Thank you. Merci. Co-prosecutor and Mr. Witness, it is now témoin. already appropriate moment, moment for the adjournment. The chamber wishes to inform the co-prosecutors and civil parties that you will be allocated a half day for putting questions to this demi-hour. One quarter of the allocated time for this uh, half day has already been used. Or, vous avez déjà utilisé will have another un certain temps d'interrogatoire. Quarter. Vous avez utilisé un quart. And uh, the chamber will adjourn today and next session will be resumed tomorrow at 9 a.m. de journée. For tomorrow's sessions, the chamber will continue hearing the testimony of Mr. Ong Chat questions going to be Le put by the co-prosecutors before the accusation uh, uh, and then the co uh, the legal lawyer Puis for the civil parties before civile. the defense counsels. Ensuite, Mr. Ong Chat, uh, your testimony is not yet complete. Uh, we would like you to return Monsieur to the courtroom Chat, tomorrow uh, before 9 a.m. Court officer is now directed to assist uh, Mr. Ong Chat la suite de by coordinating with the West Sioux unit so that Mr. Ong Chat is uh, very well assisted uh, during the adjournment and, and that he return to the courtroom by 9 a.m. Jury counsel is also asked to come back. Pour demain à Security personnel are now directed to bring Mr. Kyusum Pong and Nunji to the detention facility and have them return to the courtroom tomorrow by uh, before 9 a.m. Mr. Nunji is directed to return to dans le the holding cell only Quant à Nunchia, where he is allowed to observe the proceedings from there through audio-visual the court is adjourned. L'audience est levée. Tom Croucher.